welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. So I am currently in my kitchen and I am preparing for tomorrow. Tomorrow is our friend miss. Friend miss is whenever a whole bunch of friends <laughs> gather together and celebrate Christmas. So I'm cooking for everybody right now. I got my list of everything that I'm making and today's video I'm going to be showing you everything that I'm making. I'm going to be like talking while I cook. Um, I'm going to be doing like voiceovers, like showing you exactly step by step how to make a certain dish. Um, for example, I have mac and cheese that I'm going to be making, stuffing, just regular box stuffing, nothing crazy. I'm going to be doing a sweet potato casserole with marshmallow on top, mashed potatoes, I'm going to be doing um, glazed carrots with brown sugar, and also to finish off, I'm going to make a banana bread pudding with the vanilla wafers. To start off, you're going to want to peel your carrots. Once you've peeled your carrots, cut your carrots into even pieces so that it cooks thoroughly. Boil your carrots for about 12 minutes or until tender. Um, while my carrots are boiling, I'm going to peel my sweet potatoes so that those can, these can be ready whenever it's time to put them in. My favorite thing that I make is the banana bread pudding. Oh my god, it's so good. Comment down below what's your favorite like Thanksgiving slash Christmas meal. I feel like Christmas and Thanksgiving meals are almost kind of the same. So my carrots are like three-fourths done. I started my pan on like uh, between four and medium, so like, <laughs> like a low medium. I'm gonna throw some butter in the pan and some brown sugar. I'm gonna let it caramelize like a little bit, not too thick because then it won't like grasp onto the grasp on, grab on, stick, whatever. Stick. Sorry, my cat. Guys, I'm not really a measurer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I kind of just put what my mind thinks should be. So I'm probably gonna put like a handful of brown sugar. If you want, I like it this way. You can add a little bit of minced, a little bit of minced garlic to it. So it'll be kind of like a savory, sweet carrot. It's really good. Then I'm gonna take my carrots and just drain it. Not too much, leave a little bit of water so the become like a mixture. Guys, I really suck at explaining. Anyway, so drain my carrots, add it to the pan, and then I'm gonna lower the heat to maybe two to simmer it so it can just like melt in the carrot. So this is what the carrot looks like in the pan with the brown sugar and the garlic. You can add um, some pepper to it if you want, it's up to you. Guys, I cannot begin to explain how much I hate peeling like fruits or veggies. It sucks. So for the sweet potato casserole, preheat your oven to 350. Boil your water, put your sweet potatoes in them. Whenever you're done boiling your sweet potatoes for about like 20 minutes, just until they're tender, whenever you take your fork, you go through it, it's like it's easy to mash. After that, mash it. I add a little bit of, everybody makes it different. I add a little bit of heavy cream and brown sugar in there to taste. I don't, guys, I don't know how much I put, but sorry for the dog and the baby. I don't know how much I put. I kind of just go and I taste as I go and just whenever I think it's sweet enough, and that's when I stop. After you add all that, put it in your casserole dish and bake it for about 20 minutes. Take it out, take some marshmallows, put it on top, put it in the oven, let it brown, and you're good. The carrots are baby approved, right? <laughs> While my sweet potatoes are boiling and the macaroni is boiling, I'm gonna start on the potato. All right guys, so my potatoes are peeled. I'm going to cut my potatoes up to small equal pieces and then I'm gonna throw them in there. Like I said, I don't measure, so I'm just gonna go what my little heart desires. Also in my boiling water, my mom taught me this, add a little bit of butter. So my sweet potatoes are done. Yes, I'm using a Halloween candy bowl as my mixer, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna mash these. And as, like, okay, so once I'm like halfway through mashing all of them, grab heavy whipping cream, add a little bit of it in there. All right, mash, add some Himalayan salt. 
a little bit of milk to make it more creamy. Stir it up, mash it up. And then you add your brown sugar. Like I said earlier, I usually just add the sugar as I go. So I added the sweet potato to the casserole dish. I'm going to add my marshmallows now, top it with some saran wrap, and then tomorrow I'm gonna bake it for 20 minutes with the marshmallows on top. So tomorrow I'm just gonna put this in the oven for 20 minutes and then bake it. Add a little bit more here. Bake it and it'll be a, a nice golden brown. So to start on the macaroni, you're going to heat two cups of cold milk in the microwave. You can put it on the stove top if you want, but I'm, I'm running out of running out of cookware, guys. So I'm gonna heat this up in the microwave. Not boiling, just hot. In a saucepan that has like some kind of, it says in a heavy bottom saucepan, melt one third cup of salted, I mean, I'm sorry, unsalted butter. Yummy, yummy. Whenever your butter is melted, sorry, add a third cup of all purpose flour and whisk it in slowly. You're going to whisk in your flour for about three to four minutes until the mixture turns like a light brown, but keep keep stirring it. Keep stirring the, the flour into the butter. After the three to four minutes is over, take it off the heat and start slowly adding two cups of whole milk. So as you stir in the milk, so at first it's gonna be super thick. As you stir in the milk, it'll start thinning out, thinning out. Remove it from the heat whenever you're doing that. And then after that, Put it back on the heat for three to five minutes. Stir that constantly. Whenever you put a spoon in it, the, spoon, the sauce should coat the back of the spoon. So just put your spoon in it, lift it, and you see how there's sauce on your spoon? You're good. Then over low heat, after you're done putting in your garlic powder and checking if it's on the back of your spoon, you start adding in your cheese. You get sharp cheddar, about Two bags, and if you really want it to be easy, get three bags. Okay guys, so the mac and cheese is done. I'm gonna transfer it over into this pan, and then tomorrow, I'm gonna bake breadcrumbs on top of it. <laughs> so I just drained my potatoes, and then I'm gonna add them back to the big pot and mash them. I'm only gonna add half, mash, and then add the other half. Start mashing your potatoes. And then while you're mashing your potatoes, add some whole milk, some heavy whipping cream, some salt, and butter. So for the banana bread pudding, got your vanilla wafers, crush them up, put them at the bottom of the pan, put pudding on top, bananas, and then do another layer. And then you top it off with some Cool Whip. Step one, step two, step three. And then just repeat. After you did the two steps twice, add Cool Whip, Take some vanilla wafers, crush it up, and add it on top. And that's the final result. So that's a wrap for today's big cook-off. I'm so excited for tomorrow. I hope everybody loves what I made. My favorite part is the banana bread pudding. What's your favorite part, Marshi? Uh, probably the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, mac and cheese looks amazing. So thank you so much for watching. Comment down below, like I said earlier, what your favorite dish is during the holidays. And then maybe I can do like a DIY, not DIY, like a recipe walkthrough. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys. Bye.